The next voice you hear belongs to Big John McCarthy <laughs> with the tail of the tape. Well, thank you so much, my friend. Look at 67-inch reach for Palencia, 72 for Hamilton. Both guys great grapplers, especially good submissions from Palencia. We're going to see what happens. And now with the official introductions, we welcome Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Long Beach Arena for the start of Bellator 286. The prelims get underway now. We'll kick it off in the bantamweight division set for three five-minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner first at five foot six, weighing in 135.2 pounds. His professional record, 15 wins, nine losses. He fights out of Hartwell, Georgia, CJ, the Autobot Hamilton. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at five foot seven, weighing in 136 pounds even. In his Bellator debut, he enters undefeated at 10 and 0. He fights out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting Richard Palencia. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Jonathan Romero. We're waiting for paramedics. 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 Waiting on paramedics. Yes, sir. Richard Palencia making oh, his Bellator so MMA ready, debut, 10 and 0 with three start. submissions okay. there. You see CJ Hamilton, he turns 36 in six days, stay looking low, for ready. his Wait first for Bellator place, MMA start, okay. win in three appearances. Palencia, Hamilton getting set to right, do battle at 135 pounds. The semifinals of the Bantamweight World Grand Prix coming up Friday, December 9th on Showtime. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Round one, fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight! So the unbeaten Palencia, red gloves, Hamilton, 0-2 in Bellator in the blue gloves, but coming off losses to Matthews Matos and Magomed Magomedov, who will face Patchy Mix in one of the two semifinals in the World Grand Prix tournament, December 9th, the Mohegan Sun. Rafael Stotts and Danny Sabatello meet in a grudge match in the other Final Four matchup. The Southpaw, Hamilton, and Palencia each looking to parry the jab. There's a high kick by Hamilton, blocked by Palencia. Palencia, you're gonna find, likes to get the fight to the ground, but Hamilton's a very good wrestler, like I said before, and so he's gonna be thinking about the defense, and he believes that he's better in the stand-up than Palencia. Hamilton nicknamed the Autobot, gonna try to frustrate his opponent more than autocorrect, Mr. McCarthy, and I know we're all frustrated by that. Well, the real question is when, if or when Valencia gets this fight to the ground, can Hamilton stop what this kid fingers, does as far fingers. as he moves from one position to the next very well, transitions from one submission attempt to another, so. Hampton's got to be very cautious as far as engaging when he does in the stand-up. Don't be off balance or put yourself out of position. There you go. A lot of fainting, a lot of resetting at Hamilton with the first foray exploding forward, but Palencia stays out of range. A minute and a half gone in the first round. Palencia now fighting from the southpaw stance. You saw that movement by Hamilton. As soon as Palencia just put his head down like a change of levels, you saw Hamilton was ready to start sprawling. There's another high kick executed by Hamilton. And Palencia comes in, lead right hand left, closes the distance, and now they clinch. And Palencia with some space to deliver those knees. This is the real question here, and it doesn't have to be that Palencia gets a takedown here. The C.J. Hamilton wants to feel what he's like right here, and he wants to stop that takedown and put it in Palencia's mind that, hey, you're not going to get any takedowns against me. Body lock employed by, well, momentarily employed by Hamilton. He delivers a knee just above the belt line. There's a knee from Palencia. As they jockey for position, they separate, and Palencia resets in the center of the cage, flashes the jab. Neither fighter, as we reach the midway point, able to really dictate terms, getting to know each other again. Palencia fighting for the first time in Bellator, and he trips and falls, moving forward as Hamilton escapes. Nice, nice footwork by Hamilton. Yeah. 
Hamilton told us his greatest strength is his creativity. A two-time national wrestling champion, the National Collegiate Wrestling Championships. Mean, meanwhile, Palencia wrestled NCAA AA Division II at Grand Canyon University. But so far, this has been a stand-up affair as Palencia catches the kick by Hamilton and backs him into the cage. He's got his hands in place for a high crotch. The question is, can he elevate, get his hips up towards you? See, that's why you're seeing C.J. Hamilton use that shield right there with his leg. That's to keep Palencia's hips from getting into his so he can elevate him. Under a minute and a half to go. Oh, and low blow and Hamilton will get up to five minutes. Time, to take recover. your time. When you get a second, go ahead and try to hop on your heels a little bit. <laughs> Wasn't sure that as he brought it up, you can see it, it does hit the groin area, but it's not like it was a a heavy yeah, shot. Right here. You never know how bad some low blow there. You got to keep the, that up, right? The fighter the, the, the is the one that is in control of the time. Man. It was incidental. CJ Hamilton can have right? up to five minutes that he can decide right. when he wants. Here we go. To time in. He's Fight. decided. It's time. Action resumes. Both of them Fingers. fainting with the jab, pawing at the other. Lead left hand. Blocked by Hamilton, but Valencia able to sneak a right hand in, but good footwork, good lateral movement being utilized by C.J. Hamilton. Looking to spoil the undefeated Richard Valencia's Bellator MMA debut. There's a side kick by Hamilton, digging into the body of Valencia, and Valencia again closes the distance, John, throwing that Right hand and able to take the back. Now Hamilton on Palencia. Yeah, CJ Hamilton did a beautiful duck under as Palencia tried to throw a big shot. Now with the back, we'll see what he does here. Does he want to take him down to the ground or does he want to use just a bunch of grinding knees and elbows from this position? The takedown by Hamilton, Palencia pops right back up to his feet. We are through one here at the Long Beach Arena. Thank you. Set for round two of this bantamweight matchup oh, here we go. Round between two. the undefeated Richard Palencia and CJ Hamilton. Palencia fighting out of the MMA lab and lab elite you heard from his head trainers, John Crouch, and MMA vet Rob Emerson in his corner, and there's a nasty, oh, Valencia hurt himself. Tom, breathe. After delivering that nasty inside calf kick, he buckled and collapsed to the canvas. Oh, his leg, his leg broke, no doubt about it. And he took the step back, the pressure of his own weight. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Finish that off. Paramedics. And that was oh. shin on shin, but notice when he steps back, he has a, there it goes. He felt it right here, and it was shin on shin, so obviously it fractured at that point. You saw it buckle a little bit there, and as he took a, the last step on it, that's when it definitely came apart. Ah, nasty. And this fight comes to an immediate and dramatic conclusion as Richard Palencia in a debut that he had been working his entire career for. John comes in undefeated at 10 and 0 and just like that he not only will lose his Bellator MMA debut but will now be on the sideline with an injury. Well it, actually and you look at this most of the time when we see a leg break it's because the kick was blocked or the targeting area was a little high and went into the knee where it, the femur is straight there and there's not a lot of give but look at CJ Hamilton blocked that well and it was shin on shin it was just that he 
kick to the point where his leg couldn't take that uh, torque. Of course, you and I were together many years ago in Montreal. Jose Pelli, Landy Johns, Brian Gassaway, and the uh, same similar situation. Anderson Silva, of course. There's yep. been there's been some high profile kicks that have ended uh, with broken bones. Yeah. All right, let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, with the red corner unable to continue, the fight is officially waved off. Two minutes, 12 seconds, round number two. The winner by TKO CJ, the Autobot Hamilton. CJ Hamilton picks up his first Sorry official win one. in Bellator MMA. Not the circumstances I'm sure he would have wanted as he heads over to Richard Palencia and uh, Palencia will receive medical attention as he suffers his first loss after his injuring his uh, leg on that kick.